Hey guys, this is a follow-up video to uh, the one I did with the dual fans and heatsink for my Raspberry Pi. Now, in that first video, I have did the unboxing of this and then I installed it into my Raspberry Pi. Now, I had an issue with one of these fans vibrating and it was very loud. And I recorded this with my iPod. Check it out. I'd be super happy uh, for my Raspberry Pi, but uh, I'm not. This fan is bad. That one is good, but this one is not. Quiet. Not quiet. It vibrates a lot. so annoying now hopefully this one doesn't have a problem they're supposed to be quiet but unfortunately they're not um, even the one that was quiet is starting to become loud now what I ended up doing is I went on eBay and I bought another one so I want to replace the dual fans that are on this heat sink and put these ones onto there instead instead of having to pull the heat sink off of my Raspberry Pi I'm just going to remove the screws from the fans here and just hot swap. Another unboxing of the exact same thing. It looks like this one has been beat up, so hopefully it's not gonna be a problem. Take a look at the box right there back here. Compared to the first one I got that had the problem. Yeah, hmm. Alright, well somebody already opened it. We're just going to remove it from the case here. Alright, let's open this thing up. Man, I'm bad with packages. <laughs> oh, I can't get it open. There we go. Alright, well, at least it's got some type of foam to kind of protect it here. Again, don't need these copper heat sinks. I already got one on my Raspberry Pi. And, yeah. I'm going to plug it in first. And hopefully it doesn't vibrate. Before I do plug it in, I want you guys to actually hear these fans for yourself. Um, since I've used them quite a lot already, um, it would be best to show it to you. Um, let's just unplug that light. See, it's really irritating. All right, so it's time to unplug this fan. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in the other fan. Please don't be annoying. Please be very quiet. Hopefully it was just an issue with the one. Uh, all right, just checking the TPI opens. You don't even hear it. It's really quiet. Here, I'll play a comparison for you. Alright, so I know, as you can hear that right there, I know that uh, the new ones work. I'm going to be replacing these old ones. You listen to this. Those are so annoying. Alright, so I'm just going to turn my Raspberry Pi off. Shut down system. Alright, now I'm going to unplug it. Wow. That's bad. I just uh, removed my little plastic piece from my Raspberry Pi. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take these four screws out and then these four screws. Pull this out and then Put these ones in here with these screws. Now, should lift right up. 
should. Still a little bit stuck here. Now I'm not going to throw these fans out. I'm still going to hold on to them as a backup just in case I ever need them again. Then I have them or if I get another Raspberry Pi I can stick them on there. They're still good. They work. They're just very irritating and drive me nuts. Alright, so let's actually have a look at this heat sink too. So if you take a look right there, I've been using my Raspberry Pi every day since I got those dual fans and they're not that dusty at all. You see a little bit of dust there. Let's uh, blow it off real quick here. So yeah. Let's get the pie too. Um, they're pretty good. It's a little bit of dust. Alright, so I'm going to be doing the same with this. Just remove these screws and pull the fans off the heatsink. Uh, fans from the heatsink. It's actually a fairly nice little heatsink right there. Alright, so all I have to do now is just put these fans on this heatsink. Pretty easy, just hot swap. There we go, now I'm going to snug them up a little. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is just move this back here, bend it down a bit. Actually, I should like plug it in first. There we go. Just kind of bend and squeeze it into position. There we go. That's it in. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this on top of my pie. Let's make sure everything fits perfectly. There we go. Let's make sure everything is tight. The only reason why I got this LED here is that uh, it reminds me the thing's still plugged into the wall at night. It's the only reason why it's there. Alright, no time like the present to find out if this thing sounds a lot better and it's not vibrating. Let's find out. I barely hear it. Let's move this thing back a little bit just kind of move it around. A lot better. Finally. So right at the moment um, my Raspberry Pi is going. I can hear a little bit but it's not as loud as this one is. So what I'm going to be doing is just put this one back onto the newer heatsink that's never been used and I'm just going to put it away in this package and just keep it there as a spare part for when I actually need it. I'm glad the other one's not as loud as this one. Um, but that other one, that I think it's this one right here, um, was, uh oh, uh oh. Can you hear that? Let's move you out of the way. Uh oh. Hmm. Mm, I don't know about these fans. I can definitely say that uh, they do work, but they are very annoying. Yeah, it's making noise right now. It's not as bad as this one, though. But um, from what I'm hearing right now, don't buy them. And if you do, find one that's not from Geek Pie. Because uh, these ones are crap. Nice price though, but they're crap. There we go. That's all put, the, put back together. So what I have to do now is put this on top. These do come with, in, like I said in my first video there, they do come with uh, uh, a thermal pad. This is the thick one. This one is the thin one. Um, I'm using the thin one. That way it sends the heat directly to the um, heat sink better. More better at connecting. Uh, it does come with this copper. Um, a little heat sink, which looks like it's starting to corrode already. Wow! 
tells you uh, there is no quality control when it comes to this. That's pretty sad. Uh, I really hate how people like to cut corners like that. That's not cool. See, these things should work the first time and not be a problem, but um, sounds like the new one is having a little bit of issues too, but time will tell. I will give it a couple of days and continue this video and go from there to see how that one improves. Um, so, this video is not over. Try to find out. So, let's have a look. It's been running for a while. It's just at times there, it was vibrating. So I reconnected my LED light um, to my Pi here. Fans do sound a lot better than the other one. I will um, pause this video for now and then come back to this within five days. And then see how it sounds from there. Kind of pushing this down. It's kind of bowed up. Put my pocket juice back on. Now, I'm going to be building a circuit that will sit here. That way I can turn the, um, the screen on and off and the pie on and off. I already got some parts coming. It's just a matter of time when they get here. And the plan of how I'm going to do it. I'm still searching for a good power bank. Um... Something that is better than this one. I did do my test on these. I will be releasing a video on that. And yeah, I go from there. Alright, I just wanted to show you guys that um, an easy hot swap through uh, the dual fans of the Raspberry Pi. This definitely does work well. Um, my Pi usually gets at a max of 60 when it's working really hard, but normally stays around about 49. And on average of doing things, it's around 53. So that's actually pretty good. Without these dual fans and just the heat sink alone, um, the small little heat sink, I'm looking at at least about 80 degrees or higher. I haven't went past 80. I don't want to go past 80 because I want my Raspberry Pi to last. There's people that say that, oh, you don't need no heat sink. Um, well, I'll tell you what, you're you're probably only using your Pi for scripting, and that's pretty much it. I use mine for a lot of intensive stuff. Um, when it comes to the desktop, I mean, even the browser, when you load the browser, that instantly gets um, um, the ARMS processor really hot. And that's just the browser. So, yeah, um, I highly recommend at least a heat sink and, hey, these dual fans. Um, it's just sad that I had to go buy another one just to replace it. But, uh, yeah.